this all started with a question at a wedding, my daughter's wedding last year. I was with a bunch of bridesmaids after the reception, and we were finishing up all the alcohol that was on the, the table, right? <laughs> <coughs> and so we were quite loose, and loose, I mean, we were doing quite well. And there were maybe five or six ladies that I had known for maybe 10, 15 years. And one of them said, well, what's your secret to this long and this, how come you guys have been married so long? What's your secret? And, you know, I never really gave it a whole lot of thought before. So, you know, the brain is a very interesting thing. And I'm sure the alcohol helps. <laughs> so in a matter of maybe 15, 20 seconds, I said, well, ladies, the answer to that is you need to have something on the side. <laughs> so what are we? We're a collection of likes and dislikes and beliefs and abilities and flexibility and respect. We as people develop these things over time. And they change, too. So you like certain foods. Maybe you like certain sports. You like certain colors. You like certain entertainment. You like certain music. Uh, and you dislike other things. You don't want asparagus, maybe, or you don't like liver, or whatever it might be. You have certain beliefs about religion, money. And uh, the other big one that I think we're going to talk about is uh, family. So I think that's what we are. And this changes over time because, you know, as a kid, you didn't like your asparagus. But now, if you get to be about 30, and asparagus is not so bad, right? <laughs> what happens when we meet? You come into a room the first time, and you look across the room, and you see somebody, and you say, that person, I want to meet. And so you've never talked to anybody. You don't know if you have anything in common, but you've decided, for whatever reason, some primal instinct here, that that person might be the person I want to talk to. So you go over to that person, and you may find out that after you've talked to them about 10 minutes, this is not the person you want to be talking to. <laughs> so you just separate, and you go your own way, and you find somebody else. But at some point, you're actually going to run into somebody where you say, Oh, I like to talk to that person. And the more you talk about to them, the more you find that you have common ground and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So you have likes that they like, your dislikes that they don't. But do you want to have somebody who's exactly the same as you? First of all, I don't think it exists. But wouldn't it be boring? I mean, really. The same person in the same room. Yeah, you like this? Yeah, I like this, yeah. Okay, you want to go this way? Yeah, I want to go this way. You want to do this? Yeah, I want to do that. Then what? There's nothing to argue about. What, what the <laughs> heck? <clears throat> so I think the best that we're going to come up with is something where there's a very, very large overlap, but the secret is that you can't just be covered by the other person. So. You really have to respect the individuality of your partner. You have to say, hey, yes, you, you like to cook. You like to cook uh, in a particular way. If I were cooking that, I would do it totally different. Why are you messing up all these pots and pans? You know? <laughs> but they do it their way, and they get it done, and it tastes good. You're flexible. You really have to be flexible because things are going to change, and you have to accept that. I think beliefs, the big ones that I think about are if you want to be married for a long period of time, first of all, children is a big thing, right? If you don't, if you don't want children and the, your partner wants children, you're not going to be married for very long. You know, that's the way it's going. If you want 10 children and your partner wants one, then you have to negotiate, right? <laughs> uh, money, I think, is probably the other big thing, you know? If you want to spend and spend and spend, and your partner is a spendthrift, that probably won't last very long. Uh, so you both have to come to something in between, or, or at least be agreement on what, how that's done. So I think those are beliefs. Those are, those are key things that I think are very important. 
when I first met my wife, I could tell immediately she was the person who had the ability to carry on a normal conversation with anybody and had these social skills that I didn't have. You know, I was an engineer and I could work in the corner and you want me to add and subtract, no problem. <laughs> but talk to people for 45 minutes, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> so the two of us together could go to a party, no big deal. It was great because there's somebody I could talk to and we could get introduced and that worked. As time goes on, 60 years later, uh, oh, actually I'll go back. At the time, we say, hey, uh, I want to go out and, and, and uh, to go tobogganing in Michigan, which is where we lived at the, at the time. It's too cold, I don't want to go outside, I don't like this, you can go on your own. Okay, that's fine. But now, really in the last 10 years, she's decided, you know, physical fitness is something I'm interested in now. It's, you know, the kids are gone, I can do this, and now she's doing half marathons. So there's been this, and, and I've, uh, from my perspective, I've been able to say, you know, I want to figure out how to garden. I want to be good at gardener. I, I, may, I grow a mean tomato nowadays, right? So, <laughs> and I'm working on grapes, and I'll be doing wine someday. So, so I bring a strength to this organization, that, and my wife brings a strength to this organization. And between the two of us, we can get a much bigger organization, or union, if you will, and so what I said to these five young ladies at this wedding, in one or two sentences, was basically, ladies, don't worry about finding your man, or don't worry about how long this is gonna last. You need to find out what you are, what likes you have, what dislikes you have. You need to learn something, an ability, whether that be cooking, whether that be uh, playing a musical instrument, whatever that is, and you need to uh, develop that. And if you go to the places where you're doing your likes, maybe you like bicycling, so you join a bicycling club. My bet is that you're going to meet somebody that has enough common shared interest that you're going to, at some point, marry that person. Thank you. Thank you.